I've battled Anenra about five or six times now, and I think I have a valid strategy for defeating him. The strategy I'm going to use is essentially just patience and avoidance. I'm just going to keep my distance, avoiding the fire tornadoes and bombs, and when the time is right, the boss is going to come to me. Periodically, a Nenra will clap its hands and teleport right next to you. Oh, just like that. When this happens, he's going to execute a series of between two and four punches and kicks. Until you've got the rhythm for this fight down, it's best to just wait for him to do all four attacks before striking him two or three times. When he enters his Dark Realm phase, you're essentially going to keep doing the same thing, but be aware of these fiery pillars that are in the corners of the room. Destroying one when he's close drops the ceiling on his head doing great damage and is useful for driving him out of the Dark Realm quicker. When he does this fiery tornado burst attack, you want to wait until just before it connects before performing a burst counter. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing what I did in the first phase, keeping my distance and striking only when the opportunity is right. When he transitions out of the Dark Realm phase, he's going to be vulnerable for a very short period of time. Again, I find it's best to just hit him two or three times before moving away, because more often than not, he's going to start attacking instantly as soon as he gets up, and it's best not to be in range when that happens. Oh, I just got greedy there and paid the price. I have to listen to my own advice. You'll also notice that I'm using water amulets for added damage, being that this is a fire boss. Here we go again, fire tornado, last second burst counter. Even just getting that down seems to make this fight far more manageable. Oh, right, I almost forgot about the body slam. When he hits the ground, try and get two, maybe three attacks in and then move away instantly. Now watch me ignore almost everything that I've said up until this point in the video and die a horrific death because that's what I do. I'd say that's pretty accurate. If you have your Yokai Shift available, it's probably best to save it for the Dark Realm, but I'm going to go ahead and use it now because his health is so low, even though I suspect I'll end up regretting such a decision. And I'm down to a single Elixir, so I'm going to have to play defense and really try and not screw up. You're going to die like a noob. Yep, I think I would agree with that. Oh, but I staggered him. Well, no, you just got lucky. Hey, I'll take it. Don't get greedy. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can defeat this big Bernie bastard if I just follow my own damn advice. I doubt it. I'll show you. Must burst counter. I'm going for broke. This is probably a bad idea. Huzzah! That was way too close. Oh, you just got lucky. That may be, but dead is dead. Now surrender your booty.
詳しい話はここを離れてからだおっと腹ごしらえでもしながらでどうだうん<笑>というわけでこいつは敵じゃないってことだであやかしまで引き連れて何がしたいの俺が俺はな大空に輝くでっかいお天道様になるんだ<笑>とんだやましね要は誰にも負けんほど偉くなってやるってことだ私は一匹でも多くあやかしを借りたいそれだけちょっと待て仲間になるのが嫌ならここは藤吉郎にどういて銭を払う言わとわれてくれこんなはした金でえとんだ勘違いね今度会ったらあいつは殺すからおいちょっと